Good morning, I am Miss Giddings at Skidworth Elementary School and this is our second grade class. Um, today we're gonna be locating answers in our text with some nonfiction stories. Um, and let's begin. So this morning we're going to be learning about chimpanzees and I'm going to give a book to every one of you so you can follow along. Here's my paper passer for today. Oh, she's not here. Okay, so who's teacher's assistant? Five. Five. Right, because she just can pass these out for everybody? Yeah. All right, so we are going to learn about chimpanzees. Does anybody know anything about chimpanzees before we start? Zachary. They're what? They're a type of monkey. They're a type of monkey. Good. Who else? Alex. Um, they're type light wonders, babies, and they're kind of like monkeys. Okay, good. Um, Vicki? They can live in Africa. Good job, Mary. They, they are smaller than gorillas. They're smaller than gorillas. Good, Marianne. Sometimes they die. Okay, sometimes they do die. Yes, they all have lives. Um, Ethan. They have a lot of fur on their body. Good, Emin. They climb trees. They climb trees. Peyton. They have thumbs. They have yeah. thumbs like us. Good job, um, Christopher. They have long arms that help them swing from trees. Good, awesome. So I think we have a lot of prior knowledge about chimpanzees, so let's get started. We are going to start on page one. So everybody turn there and let's see what we can see on page one. All right, what do we see on page one? or probably the page before page one. It's a, it's a text feature. What text feature do we see? Christopher. The table of Good, the table of contents. And next to the table of contents is what? Mary. Um, a photograph. Okay, well next to the page numbers in the table of contents, what do you see? The headers. The headers. Good job. And what do the headers tell us? Does anybody know? Peyton. All the chapters in the book. All the chapters in the book or what they're gonna be about. Great, so our first header or our first then we're gonna be around as chimpanzees. All right, so let's read them. Chimpanzees, did you know that chimpanzees are not monkeys? In fact, chimpanzees belong in the ape family. Monkeys have tails, but apes do not. So, if you are ever wondering if you are looking at an ape or a monkey, look for a tail. So they're not monkeys. Did you all know that? Oh, I'm sorry, no. All right, Habitat. This is our second page. So we are on page two, Habitat. Chimpanzees live throughout the African rainforest, woodlands, and grasslands. There was once millions of chimpanzees living throughout Africa. Now they are an, an endangered species with, le with less than 300,000 left living today. So what does endangered mean? Who can tell me what endangered means? Ethan. So, can you repeat that one more time? Not a lot of people are or aren't. Um, let's see if we can get some more ideas about what endangered means. Isaiah. Yes, good, there aren't many left in the world. So if they're all gone, what is that word? When there's no more chimpanzees, they're called what? Extinct. Extinct, good, so we don't want that to happen. All right, next is caring for their young on page three. So make sure you're looking at page three. Good job, okay, so caring for the young. Female chimpanzees normally have their first baby by the time they are 14 years old. The infants are very dependent on their mother for milk, protection, and food. Young chimps stay with their mother for at least five years, but some stay with their mothers for their entire life. Female chimps can have between four to six babies in their, her lifetime, but normally they only give birth to one chimp at a time. So we give we give the same thing to um, chimpan. We give the same things to our babies that chimpanzees give to theirs, right? So what do we give them? Milk and food. What else do we give them? What? Protection. Protection. Good. And how? Usually, how many babies do we have at a time? Three. 
Just one. Sometimes we have two. Twins. Twins. Good. All right. Next is page four for baby chimps. Baby chimpanzees can begin sitting up on their own at five months old and stand with support at six months old. Baby chimps sleep with their mother for a few years until they become independent. So what does independent mean? Ms. Giddings tries to help you become independent. So what does that mean? Yourself. Good, do things by yourself. That's right. So you don't need a lot of help to do them. You can do them by yourself. Say, tie your shoes, make yourself breakfast, brush your teeth, get dressed in the morning. But chimpanzees, do they do all those things? No, because they don't have any of those. They don't have any of those. Good. All right, moving along. Although chimpanzees normally walk on all fours, they are capable of standing on two feet and walking upright. They're also able to swing from branch to branch where they do most of their eating. When it's time to sleep, the chimps will find a safe spot in the trees. All right, let's keep going. Page six, meal time. Chimpanzees are fruit and plant eaters most of the time, but they will also consume insects, eggs, and meat. They will have a diet that consists of a variety of foods. In fact, chimps are one of the few animals that use tools to find and prepare their food. They may use sticks to dig insects out of logs or use stones to smash open at tasty nuts. Chimps will also help each other find food. So what do we think animals usually eat? Or monkeys usually eat? Um, banana. Bananas or mm -hmm. apes. Yeah, that's right. So what does consume mean? What do we think the word consume means? Mary. I can't hear you what? Eat or drink, good, so we consume it. We eat it or drink it, good. We consume our lunch, we consume our dinner. All right, interesting facts. In the wild, chimpanzees live in large groups of 15 to 120 members. Chimps communicate through noises, they make hand gestures and facial expressions. Some chimps have been taught how to use sign language. Chimps have 32 teeth. They are not able to swim even though they live near water. Chimps can live for more than 50 years. And then what is this? A glossary. Who can tell me what we use a glossary for? Natalie, what do we use our glossary for? Um, to, um, what do we look for in our glossary? What the words mean, yeah. So all those bold print words in our book, we go back to the back to the glossary and we can figure out what they mean. So all those words I was asking about, consume, endangered, facial expressions, independent, and sign language, those were all words that are in our glossary. So now you are going to get a highlighter and you're gonna go through your um, story and you're gonna find some important facts that can describe a, uh, a chimpanzee. Oh, Yep, that might be helpful, good. So all those headers will help you go through and find things about chimpanzees that could describe them or help you understand them better. So how are we gonna do that? What are we gonna do first things first? Yes, after we write our name. First we're gonna write it. Yes, I love it. And then we're gonna find the answer. Highlight some important things that stand out to you, things that maybe you just know before, things that um, you feel like are relevant. So it, what's important and what's not important? Is it important um, the color of fur on a chimpanzee? No. Not really when we compare it to things like what does a chimpanzee eat, what's their habitat, how do they live, things like that. So we have to decide what's important to share. He lives, on the he lives in a tree. Good job. Do you have something else, Jimmy? Yeah. Okay. And then in one more. Um, chimpanzees. Uh, there are a lot of chimpanzees, but they die. Some of them did die. Yep, you're right. They Amen. climb trees. They do what? They climb trees they and they eat bananas. They do. Such good ideas. Highlight your important, interesting facts, okay? So here's the word, 
that champions are not monkeys. In fact, champions chimpanzees and chimpanzees belong in the ape. Ape. Oh, is that an interesting fact or something that can describe them? You could say chimpanzees belong in the ape family. So if you are ever wondering if you are looking for an ape or a monkey, look for a... So maybe you can highlight that whole sentence. It's right here, starting it, so... So that you've highlighted it, you need to take what you've highlighted and write it in one of these squares. What did you find? Found those two? Okay. You found all three? Did you highlight them already? So maybe you should highlight, instead of just certain words, maybe you should highlight the whole sentence. So you have a sentence to write. So look, you see how you only did live for more than 50 years? How about you write, highlight chips? Chimps can only live for more than 50 years. So take your highlighter and do the whole thing, okay? What have you found? Good job. Make sure your sentences have periods and capital letters. Good. Yes. What you, it's okay. You can do. You can do it in any order. It doesn't matter as long as you have four facts. Let's start to turn your attention to the board, and let's write some things that we. I want you to tell me some things that you've learned about chimpanzees today. What are a few things you've learned about chimpanzees? Ayush. They live in Africa. Good. You can just leave it on your desk, please. They live in Africa. Okay, what else do we know about them? Um, Christopher. They can have up to 32 teeth. They can have up to 32 teeth. Good. Um, Kavya. They're not monkeys. I haven't learned that today. Mary. Yep, they're fruit and plant eaters. Good. Peyton. They live in groups. Um, Koshish. Good. Live. All right, let's do one more. Good. Um, Vicky. They, they give protection to who, though? The baby. Yep. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Thank you for joining our class today. We learned a lot about chimpanzees and locating things in our text. Skip with Cardinals! Cardinals.